When a thermistor is heated, its resistance decreases. Decreases. That means it's easier for a current to flow through a thermistor when it's hot. Now, why is this? Well, essentially what happens is we have a material in the resistor called a semiconductor, and as it gets hotter, its atoms get all excited and release more electrons um, into what's called the conduction band. Now, you don't need to know that, but it's nice to know the basics. So that means if there are more electrons, then it's easier for a current to flow through this thermistor as it gets hotter. Describe two uses of a thermistor. Well, the first use, as a little hint here, is as an electronic, electronic thermometer. And your thermistor would probably be in the tip, and connecting it to some electronics will be able to be calibrated and give you a, a reading of the temperature in Celsius. The other use for, of a thermistor is to protect delicate lamps that are used in projectors, for example. When you first switch on a projector, the current in the bulb, in the lamp, is higher than it normally is or normal, in normal use. And so there's a risk of, of the lamp filament blowing and, and melting. So by putting a thermistor in the circuit, that will restrict the current until the thermistor heats up. And the, so instead of having a, a sudden spike of, of current, the current will gradually increase with a the thermistor. And that protects the lamp, the filament of, of sensitive and delicate uh, visual equipment such as projectors.